Hi, folks, and welcome to the Mike Lopez TV Show. I'm your host, AC Mike. We'll bring you all things Atlantic City, politics, sports, dining, entertainment, and so much more. Our first guest for tonight is Jim Balls, General Manager, Tilton Fitness at Tropicana Casino Hotel, Atlantic City. Next up, we'll have Gina Rosenberger, owner of Breeze Salt Spa, also at Tropicana Atlantic City. Finally, we'll have professional boxer Justin Time Figueroa, Stick around, we'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. Our first guest is Jim Baltz, General Manager of Tilton Fitness Atlantic City at the Tropicana. Jim, welcome to the show. Mike, great to be here. Thanks for having me. You got me. a strong handshake there. That's right. Listen, why don't you tell us before we get into that uh, beautiful facility you have there at Tropicana, let us know a little bit about you, Jim. Sure. Um, I've been in the fitness, uh, health and wellness uh, business for, gosh, 20 plus years now, uh, dating myself. Um, started out uh, in school, exercise science major, um, then as a trainer, and then got into more of a managing clubs, did some consulting, um, been all over the place and, and happy to be back here in, in Atlantic City running our, our, our center at the Tropicana. For the love of Pete, I mean, you say 20 years in, in, in the business. You look like you're 25 years old. Yeah, well. Come on, man. Uh, something you're doing good over there. It's, uh, fitness. it's fitness. So, so, exactly. So you touched on it a little bit, what, you know, what you've, uh, how you've gotten to where you've gotten. But tell us uh, more, you know, how you've come general manager and how that facility, because at one time it was Atlantic Care, a lot of our viewers sure. are, remember it as that. Uh, you've done a wonderful uh, thing with it, but just tell us how that came into fruition, because uh, it was sitting there, I believe, for a, for a little bit of period yeah, of time. Yeah, so we were um, supposed to uh, take over for Atlantic Care, uh, and then the pandemic happened. Uh, we had some of our sites closed, but uh, we had a little bit of a uh, delay uh, with with the pandemic, and then when we were allowed to open back in uh, November of 2020, uh, that's when we we started. So we're coming up on our second year anniversary. So um, you know we've we've had a, a, a great um, time over there. Where right from the beginning, we've uh, st like I said, we we opened in the middle of a pandemic, uh, so we had lots of restrictions, uh, but we still. Um, we're gaining members. Uh, so the neighborhood we, we are in um, just has been fantastic. So we're in, in kind of the Chelsea neighborhood in the Tropicana. We're, we're unique in that we see hotel guests, but we also open to the public. Uh, so we see casino employees, we see the neighborhood. Um, we have, you know, athletes and entertainers that are staying in town pop in. So you never know who's going to be working out next to you at the, at the fitness center. So, um, like I said, it's it's coming up on our, our second year anniversary in November, and uh, we've we've been doing great. Uh, can't complain at all. Uh, one of the things you say there, uh, although it's in Tropicana, beautiful property, right? That's been around for quite some time. You got the quarter, the car mines. You're a neighborhood gym, yes. and and that's what I, and I joke with you uh, once in a while. I need to get my tail back in there more, folks, with these <laughs> things grown again. But uh, member at the gym. And uh, you know what? Is it, you know, is it a, a fancy gym or this gym? No, you're a you're a nice gym, yeah. and you're open to the community. You guys do a lot of great uh, uh, things, and when I say things, classes and different sort of things. And what I find unique about you, you're always welcoming. Um, whether it's other trainers or I know we speak about Arlen, he'll be a guest on the show sure. eventually. Uh, talk about some of that stuff that you got going on. We got past the pandemic; it was tough. But you know what? I give you kudos, too, because we thought you were kind of crazy, but you weren't. You were under the, the restrictions that the state had, but it was a place for people to go, and they were clean. And I think a lot of that's going to transfer over to the regular 
part of it. You, you folks were always clean, but yeah. the, you know, sometimes everybody doesn't always wipe their stuff down. So sure. I know I'm jumping around there, but talk about that real quick because it's still the cleanliness is, is huge, and then some of the classes and whatnot that you offer. Yeah, so that's that's I always joke about that. The the one positive thing from the pandemic is the the cleanliness. Um, you know, the the sanitary, the wipes. Um, we were always doing that anyway, but uh, everybody uh, it was a spotlight on it. So it, it has that's that's the one positive that we'll take from you know the pandemic part of that. So, uh, but to touch on other things, you know, we we are a, a neighborhood type of club. Uh, we really like to you know I'm dating myself here by you know Cheers is the neighborhood bar. We're we're kind of the neighborhood fitness center where we're Kelsey not. Kelsey Grammer's been walking around the city. Exactly, a lot, yeah, he's bartending down at. Uh, <laughs> So, but but we we uh, it's a different type of feel. It's it's not a big box gym where you come in, purchase your membership, and and that's it. Uh, we we try to get to know your name, uh, you know those right. types of things. So we offer uh, fitness classes, uh, Pilates and and yoga. And uh, Arlen, you touched on teaches Zumba. We've been doing uh, Monday nights. We do Latin dance with Arlen, mm -hmm. uh, open and free to the public. Um, so we, we do a wide array. Some of our trainers uh, teach the classes, uh, some stretching, uh, some circuit training, things like that. And then we also do personal training, right. so, it, which is extremely important. So when you join the fitness center, uh, most people kind of go, I want to get in shape. How do I do it? Mm. Um, and, and, you know, for those that, uh, you know, Google how to get in shape, uh, there's lots of information. A lot of it's not good. So, you know, we have those professional trainers that have been doing this for a long time that can design a program and steer those folks in the right direction. Is it possible to touch on some of the ones that you have at this present time training? I know you had some really good names and professional athletes and whatnot. Yeah, so we, you know, the other things we, because we are in Atlantic City, we love uh, where we are, you know, we're, we have a partnership with the AC Ballet. So you'll see the dancers coming in. Uh, we're the official training center for right. them. So uh, a lot of the dancers come in. Uh, some of the, there's Atlantic City Football Club, uh, semi-pro soccer team, those players are coming in. That's where they train. So we kind of, we're gonna be doing a campaign down the road here. We also had the uh, ACC goals when they were in town. Um, their players came in. So, you know, kind of train where the pros train. Uh, so you never know, again, with the guests coming in, uh, who you might be training next to. Um, but, you know, we have some, you know, Nigel's kind of our head trainer. He's fantastic. He's been doing it for a long time. He was in Seattle and D.C., and, and we're fortunate to, to get him here with us in Atlantic City. So, and, and that, the one thing we do with training, it's not, you know, it's not a bunch of buff guys walking around. Uh, there's, you know, a place for that for sure. But, you know, the average person, right. hey, I'd like to lose 10 to 15 pounds. Um, so, we, you know, we really guide people on um, you don't have to run for an hour on the treadmill. Right. You know, you might start with five to 10 minutes right. and gradually build up. Build so up. you have that guidance there. So, um, you know, we, we help and educate. You know, we had a guy that came in and wrapped himself in cellophane because he read it on the internet that that's how you lose weight. So we, you know, we educate that that's not a good idea. Uh, <laughs> and do it the right way. It reminds me of my old wrestling days when we yes. used to put the uh, the rubber gear on. We don't sweatsuits. recommend that at but all. But you're, you're saying, too, that, you know, not that there's nothing wrong with a guy walking around drinking a gallon of water and with chalk all over his head. Like my brother, Jose. But, you Absolutely. know, but you, 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 your gym and a, a gym fitness can be intimidating at times. Sure. I'm just saying just the weights and people that don't know. And that's the one thing I can say, folks, for sure that over at Tilton Fitness, there's somebody going to be there to talk to you, whether it's Jim or Tara behind the counter. You guys do a great job with that. we got about two minutes left, Jim. Tell us real quick how 2020 summer went, and then talk some of the stuff that you're going to have going Absolutely. on in the future, please. Yeah, so we, again, we our location really lends us. Uh, we, we have, we're on the beach Get in Boardwalk. Get that address, too, uh, please. We're, we're at the Tropicana, right. Uh, right underneath the quarter. So our, our, you can, we have free parking. Free parking. So you park in the garage, you can come through the quarter. We have an elevator straight down to us. Uh, or you have our street entrance right on Brighton Avenue, uh, right below the quarter. So uh, you can park for free, or you can ride your bike, or you can walk over. Um, but, you know, the summer, uh, we're, we're, doing some summer uh, beach classes. Um, we did a, a couple this summer. 
Uh, next summer, we're going to have a full schedule of just doing beach classes. Uh, there's not a lot of places that uh, are located where we are, so we take advantage of uh, doing some, you know, maybe some sunrise yoga classes and, and things of that nature. Um, you know, we're also, uh, we're working with, um, you know, we, we were part of the Chelsea uh, Economic Development where they did the free classes in the park, O'Donnell Park. Uh, so we participate in that. So we're going to be doing a lot of community uh, type of things as well. So um, we've got a thing we're going to do kind of um, on the beach next summer, uh, fitness games that we're planning on doing next September. Um, so stay tuned for that. That's going to be a nice program. And I'm looking forward to doing some uh, work with you on, on that project. So, Absolutely. folks, we've been talking to my friend, again, your friend, if you go out there to Tilton Fitness, Tropicana, Jim Boss, Jim, we really appreciate you coming out. We're going to have you back before the uh, summer kicks off of Absolutely. 2023. So glad that you're in town. Listen, one thing we've always been, they say we're, we're a shortage of a food desert and whatnot. We were also a, a gym desert, believe it or not, with yeah. all the hotels and whatnot. So, my friend, thank you so much. Always appreciate pleasure, you. Mike. And we'll be having you back again. Folks, stay Fantastic. right where you're at. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. Our next guest is Gina Rosenberger, owner of Breathe Salt Spa at Tropicana Atlantic City. Gina, welcome to the show. Hi, Mike. Thanks for having me. Listen, we're so glad that you're out here today. We're so glad that you're in Atlantic City and what you're doing. But before we get into Breathe, let's talk about you a little bit. You have a vast history of uh, working in the health and wellness industry and also in the city of Atlantic City throughout uh, many, many decades, but also throughout the country. So go ahead. So I um, have been in the spa industry for about 30 years. I've been in and out of Atlantic City. You know, there's some, was some struggles. It's really coming back and I wanted to get back into the groove of things in Atlantic City. So we're now in the Tropicana. And how's that been working for you? Tropicana's got so many as uh, this uh, interview was taking place a little bit beforehand. We're talking about all the great things happening at Tropicana, right? Talk about that relationship with us. Tropicana has been really great to work with. They have so many new things coming in. They're always trying to bring in new business, um, get you know the top of the game with everybody. They have new bars, um, the piano bar, the hash house. There's a lot of great things happening at Tropicana. Yeah, there sure is. We were talking about the, uh, the hash or go-go, the food, the whatnot. It's just an incredible place to uh, be at this time and, and what they're doing with Caesars and also the uh, other sister uh, property over there uh, in the Marina District is amazing what they're doing with the city. And you talked about a little bit about a revitalization. You brought your business back here. You know, talk to us about that a little bit, your business and also why, you know, what did you see? Well, I think that Atlantic City has so much to offer. Um, they offered me a 10,000 square foot space, which is in the quarter. I love the quarter. My daughter works for me, Bailey, and she's the face that you'll see, you know, when you're in the spa, Breathe Salt Spa. We brought a medical twist to it. So we offer IV therapy, dermaplaning, uh, hydrofacial, microderm. Um, we did really well with the IVs. No one's doing IVs, you know, in the city, and it's something, it's definitely a party city, so something that we can uh, offer to help you with, whether it's immune or your hangover. There's a million things vitamin therapy is good for. Uh, I love your marketing, too, for that uh, IV. And, folks, I can attest to it. I've had quite a few, and uh, they're great. My drinking days are over, <laughs> but still, we get tired of one night. But your marketing is awesome because I, I always attest it to, you know, one of those nights out. And then the dude looks like uh, Bryce Harper from the Philly. So, so, I mean, that's great marketing. But talk to us a little bit about that because you, you know, you, you touched on it. Nurse out there. Everything's, you know, uh, A1. So Dr. Bolden, um, he is my business partner and many other companies that I have. So we do a lot of IV therapy in all of our locations. Atlantic City didn't have that. So when you get IV therapy, obviously all of our nurses have gone through training. We are very um, up to speed with everything. So it's about a 20 minute process. They're gonna you know, give you a regular IV pick just like you'd get in the hospital. So you have different choices. So most of them you know, have all your vitamin B, really high doses of vitamin C, your zinc, your magnesium. 
and it gives you that fluid that you need if you are out drinking, if you're just tired, jet lag, um, you know, with all the illnesses going around, it's amazing to help with your immune system and it really makes you feel much, much better. So, and it's perfect that you touched on it because I was going to hit on it and you did. But, you know, as you go through the menu, it will tell you, you know, what you're looking for right. is there. So that's how you find uh, uh, the, the certain IV that you want. So listen, we know that you, uh, you opened up during, you know, a time, it was a little bit before, I guess, COVID. Talk to us, again, you spoke on it, how you got through that, and you were there for those folks who were looking for that stress release, that IV um, product and whatnot. Talk about some of the products you have there also. So at Breathe Salt Spa, we, we have a couple lines. So we're really known for our skin care. We offer um, SkinCeuticals, which is a medical grade line. A lot of uh, spas don't offer that. And then we have Farmhouse Fresh, which is another amazing line, but it has all more natural ingredients. It comes straight from the farm, which is in Texas, which we're excited and hope to get out there. They, um, part of the money goes for rescue for that. We have um, just a array of services. We're known for our massages. We do a lot of therapeutic stretching massages, deep tissue, salt stone. We do have a salt cabin, which is really good for breathing, your lungs, your skin. So we offer that as well. That's $25 per session. It's a 40 minute um, session that you're in the salt cabin. So it is a working halo cabin. So you have a lot of benefits, especially for your lungs, allergies, colds, um, sinus infections. It's really good for all and of that. And God knows how we suffer out here in South mm -hmm. Jersey with the allergies and whatnot. So, you know, we want to get folks out there and, and check out the uh, Breed Salt Spa, also Tropicana. But the little bird was in my ear and was talking about uh, uh, Kokomo charters or something like that. Talk to us what's going on there. I so, see a smile coming to your I face. I know. So. It's something different. I never did anything like this before, but my family's always been into yachts and boating and fishing. Um, so when I got into this venture, I searched a long time to find something similar in Atlantic City, and I couldn't find anything. So we just purchased a 70-foot um, Hatteras motor yacht. So we're bringing it back to Atlantic City. It was in Florida. It's still in Florida. We're just... Uh, weathering these hurricanes and storms. Once it gets back here, we're going to put some custom work on it and some touches. Then we're going to offer um, private cocktail parties. We could do small weddings, and obviously we're going to have to do spa parties on there. Uh, and that sounds wonderful. And you, you would think, and again, I'm not uh, going negative on this, that it, 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 something like that would have been offered out here. But I'm so glad that you guys you know, took that venture, first of all, to get out there and and you, you call it you know yacht ventures we speak and I'm looking at it to go out there and do it I mean you hear about it all the times whether it was cruise ships and yachts and stuff like that I, I've got to be honest I've never heard of someone saying that you know this type massages and whatnot but to, to actually put it to fruition and, and it's coming do we have a timetable around there we could talk to and we're it's hoping, just between you and I yeah we're starting to we're hoping to start um, offering this in May. Right. So we'll have our website up. Um, we have, we're going to have some new videos taken, some drone videos. So I'm really excited. I think it'll be something different. It's going to be at the um, Farley Marina. Okay. So it'll be easy for people to come in and out. And I mean, we live on the water. It, it'll be a great addition to everything else that Atlantic City has to offer. There you go. And as we both know, uh, you know, could have lived wherever you wanted, I wanted or worked or whatever. I chose to come to Atlantic City or the Apsecan Islands because it does have so much to offer. And listen, we're not perfect, but I don't know what is and who is other than right. one that's up there. Absolutely. And uh, what you're doing, we totally uh, are behind it here uh, with uh, uh, the AC Mike crew or whatever, the radio show. You've been on that a few times. So, Gina, we got about a minute left to you. Well, I'm, I really want to thank you for having me. I mean, come out to Tropicana and get your massage. It's just an amazing experience. We have amazing staff. We really, really do. We spend a lot of time on training. I'm definitely going to have you on the yacht so we can do your radio show on there. I would love to have you. And then once we get that website up, then we'll be able to rock and roll with that as well. There you go, folks. You heard of We got the exclusive radio, the AC Mike show on there, and we're going to do it and have a great time. Listen, go down there to Tropicana, Atlantic City. Say hi to Bailey, Gina, and the crew. Uh, tell them AC Mike sent you. Stay right where you're at. We'll be back with our next guest.
Welcome back to the show. Our next guest is professional boxer and Atlantic City Zone, Justin Time Figueroa. Justin, welcome to the show, my man. Thank you for having me, Mike. Listen, Phil. So we're going to talk a little boxing and about your your um, your love for combat sports and whatnot. But let the viewers know a little bit about yourself, please. Perfect. Um, my name is Justin Figueroa. In the ring, I go by Justin Time Figueroa. Uh, I've been boxing ever since I was about four or five years old. My first coach was my dad, so boxing has been my life. Um, yeah, grew up in Atlantic City. Uh, I've boxed all over the East Coast, here in Atlantic City, New Jersey, Philadelphia, Florida, everywhere since a young age. So I've been boxing my whole life. I enjoy boxing. Boxing is my passion. And uh, now I'm a professional boxer, 1-0 and one knockout, and looking to go 2-0 on November 12th. That's what's up. Listen, uh, that's the only way you got to start. That's as best as you can be at that point, right? right. And, you know, you, you talked a little bit about being a young man or a young, a young guy. There's a, a, a picture that we're going to be throwing up there, too. Tell us a little bit. There's that five-year-old with those boxing gloves on. About that picture? Yeah, yeah. So that picture, um, when they pull it up there, when uh, the audience or whoever's watching can see it, me and my, my dad took me to my first professional boxing show at the time. And like I said, I'm around five years old at that time. And while we're in the crowd, we're barely even watching the fight. My dad has me hitting the pads the whole time, just showing off, boom, 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 hitting combinations in front of everybody. And we're kind of stealing the show from the fight. So that's actually where I got my bo boxing name, Just In Time, because we had these guys, they were a little drunk sitting behind us, but they were loving the pad work. They were loving the show that I was given. So they were like, what's the kid's name? And my dad said, Justin. And they were like, Just In Time. Wow. Just In Time. And that stuck ever since. But my dad, uh, since we were putting on the show and we were stealing the show, my dad snuck me up to the ring and we had got inside the ring and started doing the show inside the ring. But we got in trouble because that, that wasn't supposed to happen. So the commission had told us to get out and the picture of me is on the way out. <laughs> so we'll be seeing that once the interview. I guess Larry Hazard had to hop up to the apron and, uh, and bring you down. Yeah. L listen, man, that, that's beautiful. And again, with boxing, we're going to have you back on the show uh, uh, in, for future shows or whatnot because there's so much when it comes to boxing in Atlantic City. For I sure. know as a, as, as a young man, going to uh, see Tyson and, and uh, Michael Spinks, 91 seconds, uh, or Toro Gotti and whatnot, but the history that Atlantic City has. And you and Rising Star and uh, Ray McCline with the Atlantic City Boxing Hall of Fame and my buddy in Philly, uh, uh, Hard Hitting Promotions, you guys are doing a great thing when you're bringing the cards back to uh, uh, Atlantic City. And I think a lot of folks get uh, a little bent out of shape. Oh, well, boxing left and this, well, you know, kind of left and whatnot. But I think MMA and that sort of thing kind of stole a little bit. And then yeah. with the city, a couple casinos closing, or more than a couple. But bringing it back to that restorative narrative, which I like to use, it's coming back, man. I was For at sure. the show. You know, talk to us a little bit. You have a wrestling background, combat. I have one in myself, too. One of the most disciplined sports besides boxing, uh, it teaches you. It's you and him. You know, you got right. your team, you got your trainers, mm -hmm. you got your family and whatnot. But how that benefited you in the ring? Uh, definitely. Uh, wrestling in high school. Actually, I've been wrestling since about sixth grade. I started wrestling at the Mainland Junior Wrestling Team. That's when I first started, and it's pretty much the same thing as boxing, like you were saying, a one-on-one -on -one type of thing. Uh, is, is nothing like it. So when I got into high school, I had a little bit of experience already that I brought with me to the high school level. Uh, I did well. I think I, every season I averaged about like maybe 20 wins, maybe 10 losses, but solid. Um, good enough to get my team to win and get points on contests and stuff like that. So. How it helped me transfer into the ring is just being aggressive and kind of hitting like duck unders and knowing how to maneuver, feeling my uh, opponent's weight pushing against me or if I need to grab and spin him around. So it definitely helped me a lot. But boxing also transferred uh, into the wrestling with me also because I would, I would bounce around like I was boxing right. while I was wrestling. Yeah, right. And it helped me, take I guess downs. the footwork helped me be able to shoot in real fast and get those takedowns. So right. wrestling and boxing definitely went hand to hand. And uh, I would definitely like to add wrestling into my training regimen for the future. There you go. And then one thing is you could have the most prettiest hands and dance feet or whatever, but wrestling moves or boxing moves. But what they both taught you, you better have your wind. Oh, yeah. You, you, you know, you get, it's, oh, yeah. Wrestling is <laughs> wrestling. I can say wrestling is probably the hardest sport in high school. Um, maybe maybe the ladies can argue that crew is maybe the hardest because right, yeah. I went to a crew workout at Holy Spirit. 
and it was pretty tough. But wrestling is definitely the toughest, I think. They're there. So, hey, man, listen, you got a vast background. You spent some time and continue to spend time with the Atlantic City Beach Patrol. Yeah. A lot of great people have come from that. One of my good friends, former Senator Chris Brown, uh, was on the Beach Patrol, local guy. I could go on and on naming names. Right. But you're now to that class, man. Tell us how that is, how your brothers and sisters support you. Um, so this past summer was my sixth summer on the Beach Patrol. Wow. Uh, every year just keeps getting better and better. Um, I also keep getting more in shape and more in shape. So looking good on the beach and then working on the beach is, is a plus. So I enjoy myself. It doesn't really feel like work, but I enjoy myself. Also, being a lifeguard is like being an athlete. So I always enjoy being, uh, being an athlete and being competitive. But the support is definitely unreal. I made a lot of friends and a lot of connections working on the beach patrol. Uh, a lot of great people. Like you mentioned, Chris Brown. Yeah. Uh, I believe his sons are Dan Brown and Matt Brown. That's right. Uh, yeah, I actually played Ventnor football with Matt and Dan, and then I, I worked with Matt and Dan also on the Beach Patrol. But, yeah, uh, great, just great experience working on the Beach Patrol. A lot of them came out to the pro debut, and I, I was so surprised. Even, uh, even the Chief came out and supported. So a lot of love from the Lang City Beach Patrol. Shout out to Lang City Beach Patrol. There you go, bro. Chief down, he's loving that, too. And like you said, it's a, it's a great team. So talk to us. You know, I was there at the, your, your debut, and it was awesome. <laughs> uh, talk to us a little bit about that. We got about two minutes left, and then we'll go to hit something else. Okay. Um, yeah, the pro debut was um, a dream come true for me. I uh, put so much work in. It took me months and months and months to bro, actually. Wait a time out. At Boardwalk Hall. Right, at Boardwalk Ooh, Hall. Go ahead. So I had to pump the brakes. So, yeah, it took me months and months and months to actually get in that ring and fight my first professional fight because I wanted to get uh, things right outside of the ring, a.k.a. the business side of boxing. Right. So I picked up on a great manager, Jolene Mazzone, uh, with my company that I represent, Fighters First Management. Great management team. And then I started working with Corn Flake and Rising Star Promotions, which they threw a phenomenal show. And all the hard work that I put in, just showed the night of the fight and like I said it was a dream come true. It was awesome Justin listen you made us all proud whether they knew you or didn't know you you know you represented Atlantic City and the reason I said Boardwalk Hall many of those fights that I touched on earlier right. in the interview were in that place so you know, whether it was Adrian Phillips or, or the main hall right uh, it's just incredible so you have some uh uh, fights coming up. We can touch on it. We may, uh, you know, we want to date ourselves here, mm. but talk to us what you got coming up in November. Yeah, so November 12th, Rising Star Promotions is throwing another show at the Showboat. This will be my second professional fight. Looking to go 2-0. Uh, I'm looking to go 2-0 with two knockouts, possibly another first round knockout. I'm putting in the work. I have a great team. Um, big shout out to Gorilla Coach uh, Sean Sutton my strength conditioning coach. Shout out to John Gibbs, AKA Coach String, my uh, boxing coach and Coach Arnold Robbins. So I have a great team. I, I say it's the dream team and we're just putting in the work every day. I think I'm many levels above my uh, competition right now. So that's why I say I should be seeking another first round knockout. There you go, folks. Listen, we were talking to Justin in time. Figueroa gonna have a fight in November. We're gonna keep uh, uh, continuing with following his career. Listen, folks, make sure you get out and see this young man. We're going to put up all the Instagram, social media, and whatnot pages to follow him. Justin, thank you so much thank for coming so out, much bro. For having me. We appreciate you. Good luck. Thank Continue you. to do what you do and make us and yourself and your family proud, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. You got it. Folks, we'll be right back. Hi, folks. It's our belief here at the Mike Lopez TV show that you, the viewers, and our guests bring the show to life. Thanks to each and every one of you for joining us. To learn more about AC Mike, go to acmikenj.com and on Facebook, AC Mike, Mike Lopez, and Live, Work, Play AC. On Instagram, go to acmikenj. Remember to Live, Work, Play AC, and I'll see you on the 48th.